there are so many of these small consumer agencies that that have so much information about us that a lot of us are unaware of. Um, banks use something called check systems and early warning to house information about how we handle our banks. Like if we have, you know, an excessive amount of overdraft fees, if we left the bank in good standing or not, if we owe a bank, you know, our whole financial uh, report is in these consumer files. For If you can't get a bank account, you just been kind of beating yourself up like, girl, what is going on? It's because something in your consumer file with one of these um, companies is the reason why you can't get a bank account. If you have an identity issue, if that's the reason why that you're getting that you can't open a bank account, your best bet would probably be to just go in a branch, you know, um, to see, you know, if it could be resolved that way, if a phone call doesn't work. Before I get into the whole whatever, because I know a lot of y'all be wanting a short answer, there is a temporary way to go around getting a bank account, and this is what you need to do. You need to freeze your check systems, and then you want to go open an account with Capital One 360. Um, you can even try Vero, Vero Second Chance Banking, or um, Charm to get a bank account. But I highly advise just do Capital One 360 um, because there's no fees with that particular account, no minimum amount needed to be open, no fees or whatever with that particular um, account. So that's what I did when I could not get a bank account. And since working on my check systems and early warning um, services reports, now I have bank accounts with other big name banks, you know, who I wasn't able to work with beforehand because of whatever was going on in my, um, why well, I gonna say whatever, it was because I owe regions from back in the gap. Um, it was an overdraft, you know, which um, I ended up having to dispute. Well, not dispute, but pay. I'll say pay, not the word dispute, because dis dispute sound like I ain't had to pay. I had to do a pay, pay for a deletion get that information up out of there. I did have to pay regions and there might've been an overdraft trust mark. Um, I might've done a little damage at a young age. Um, I might've overdraft the account so I can put some gas in my car and maybe get some food to eat. But that's neither here nor there. They got their money back. Um, it's all good, um, but that might've happened and that may be the reason why you can't get a bank account. But in the meantime, you want to review your third party credit reporting um, sites. So check system and early one system. You want to, I'm gonna link them in the description box so you can go directly to their website, request your consumer report with them, and you can dispute them just like you would the credit bureaus. You can seek out validation just like you would with the credit bureaus. You can send a method of, of verification letters. You can request information with them. And then you can also see what information they have about you because you may need to contact those creditors directly to say, hey bro, I never had an account with you. So this, this it may be fraud, you know what I mean? And if you do find that, <laughs> oops, that was me. Can we work out a payment arrangement? But uh, we do need some deletions. So we want to do a settlement for deletion. And if they require you to pay in full, A, you probably have to do it because I mean, you did kind of, this was your fault, you know what I mean? So if they're not willing to settle, you may have to pay. But if they're willing to delete with the full payment, is that really a loss? Mm -mm. Not in the long run, it's not a loss. So, But um, yeah, you can dispute. So that's what you would do, you know, if you cannot get a um, bank account, I would just advise starting there. So you got your temporary fix, where you place your freeze on check systems and get you a Capital One 360 account, Vero or Chime, um, which are also second um, chance banks. And there are other ones, but I'm, I'm only going to list the ones that I'm familiar with and the ones that I've personally used in the past. So I would definitely suggest checking those um, second chance banks out. So you may want to Google banks that don't use check systems to be able to get a bank account. You know, there's a, always a little way around everything. But then, you know, that's just a temporary solution. You also still want to go actually see what's on your checks reports because one day you may want a business account. You know what I mean? We also got to think big. Hey, what? I ain't gonna cuss. I ain't gonna cuss. I said I gotta stop cussing. I'm about to do that TikTok thing. You need Bitch, to be thinking, you thinking big. small. We need to be thinking big. You need to be thinking big, bitch. <laughs> you need to be thinking big, bitch. Think big, bitch. <laughs> I mean, you I got think... that. That junk is so funny. But you can't be thinking small though. You gotta think big. Temporary fix. Yeah, that may work for short term. Long term. Review your consumer reports dispute and figure out what is really going on over there okay do what you gotta do but in the meantime you know
All right, if you got any questions, leave a comment below.